Hey there everyone, it's Felix here once again from HeyDon'tShoot.com. Now some of our most popular videos recently have been about this camera right here, the Sony a6000. So we thought we'd just do another one. Today we're going to tell you the top 10 reasons why you should buy a Sony a6000. We're here in South Korea, we're going to walk around and do some street photographies while we tell you those reasons. So let's get started. Reason number one, affordability. I got a little bit lucky because I've got a camera dealer here in South Korea that gives me some good deals. So I got my first Sony a6000 with the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens for only $620. But the current going rate for one with a kit lens is around $699. You can get one refurbished, just the body only like I did when I got my second one. I got it for $349 with the body only on ebay.com. But uh, normally a brand new one without the uh, lens is going to cost you about $500 to $590, but you can get a used one on eBay for about $450. The Sony a6000 is kind of a hot commodity right now, so prices are holding steady. But Sony is supposed to be coming out with the updated version and a new one called the Sony a7000 later this year, so maybe prices will come down in the future. Reason number two why you should buy a Sony a6000, the high quality images. The Sony a6000 boasts a 24 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor and offers higher resolution than most other cameras in its price range in a compact body. Let's take some sample photos right now and show you that legendary high quality image from Sony. Reason number three, the Sony a6000 performs outstanding in low light situations. You can bump up the ISO all the way up to 25,000 and still maintain really great clarity in your images. As you can see, it's a really gray, gloomy day outside, a great opportunity to test out bumping up the ISO on the Sony a6000. I've even shot late at night using handheld only, not a tripod and only ambient light that was available and I got some stunning images which I'll show you and we'll also show you the images we're going to take right now. Okay so using the kit lens which is a 16 to 50 millimeter lens that comes with the Sony a6000 we're going to set the ISO at 1600 there's a simple ISO button here that you push scroll down so we're going to start at 1600 set the ISO then we're going to set the shutter speed to about 1 20th of a second at f8 Yep, and let's see what we get here with this door. Well, I'm going to shoot this black and white. Reason number four, the a6000 is user friendly. Despite its small size, the a6000 gives you full DSLR control and immediate access to the functions you need. The two dials on the top and a rear mounted control wheel allow quick selection of shooting modes and camera settings. Reason number five, interchangeable lenses. The Sony a6000 features the Sony E-mount system. So that means you can put any of the awesome Sony E-mount lenses that are already available, like the Zeiss Loxia 50 millimeter, of course, all the kit lenses, and Sony's got lenses for every price range. I highly recommend lenses like this 18 to 55 millimeter lens, which is around $100 to $200, depending if you buy it new or used. You can also get a 55 to 210 in the same price range, but that's not all. 
Using a variety of adapters, he can mount other lenses from other systems as well, like this Leica 50mm f2 Summicron lens with a Leica M to Sony E mount adapter, which was only about $20. And we're going to shoot this and show you the images in our next vlog. Reason number six, wireless connectivity. The Sony A6000 offers a variety of features that allows you to connect to your wireless devices. It's got an NFC One Touch, which can transfer an image directly to your smartphone or tablet just by simply touching it to the camera. Or you can use the Sony Play Home Memories app to transfer multiple images and share them on the web. You can even use the Sony Play Home Memories app to control your camera wirelessly, like firing the shutter and that sort of thing as well. So I highly recommend it for that reason. Reason number seven, the high-speed continuous shutter. Shoots at 11 frames per second. Check it out. It even adjusts focus with 179 focus points while your subject is moving. So if your kids are playing sports or if a car is driving down the street, the focus will adjust and stay in focus while it's shooting at 11 frames per second. Let's try it again. And this is just with the kit lens. Imagine when you upgrade your lenses. It's awesome. Reason number eight why you should buy a Sony a6000, the manual focus assist. When you use compatible lenses like this Zeiss Loxia 50mm or any of the Sony lenses that are E-mount, what will happen is when you adjust the focus, the camera will zoom in on a portion of the image and you can select that portion using the dial, move it left, right, up or down or keep it centered. It'll zoom in so you can see more accurately if you're in focus and then it'll back off and show you the image that you're taking. At first, I didn't really like that feature, but really, I really enjoy it, and I miss it when I shoot with cameras or lenses that don't have that feature. So once again, you can engage it by simply moving the focus, and the camera will zoom in on a portion of the image. Reason number nine, compact size. In my estimation, the Sony a6000 is the best camera on the market in its price range, but also for its compact size. You can just see how big it is or how small it is compared to the size of the palm of my hand. And we'll even get a look at the profile. I first selected this camera for a vacation I was taking to the Philippines, and I wanted a camera that was high quality, but also small enough to fit in my pocket. And the Sony a6000 fits the bill. And last but not least, reason number 10 why you should buy a Sony a6000. Accessories. The Sony a6000, unlike the a5000 or 5100, comes with a multi-interface hot shoe. The multi-interface hot shoe allows you to mount a variety of accessories like this external flash or an external microphone. Let's give it a quick test. Check, check. One, two. Hey, what's up, Turner? Uh, just videoing you, man, with your 10 yeah. reasons to buy A6000. All right, this is with the external microphone. Yeah. So there you have it, the top 10 reasons why you should buy a Sony A6000. I like it so much, I bought two of them. Hey, thanks for watching another great vlog here on HeyDon'tShoot.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook at Facebook.com slash HeyDon'tShoot. And now we're on Instagram at Instagram.com slash HeyDon'tShoot.